Okay, kiddos. Welcome back to another day of phonics. We're going to start with our letter review, and then we're going to go on to our nonsense words. Here we go. X, d, a, t, p, n, b, y, a, k, v, e, s, z. R, O, J, K, E, M, G, A, W. All right, great job, great job. Next, we are going to move on to some nonsense words, so you know what to do. Three will come up on the screen. Remember, we want to read the whole word, not the three cents. Madge, sub, hot, zep, cav, nas, fill, wap, sod, lob, din, kev, locks, puck, sov, dal, Nud, cuff, ral, sep, pog. All right. Now we're going to work on some sight words. They're going to be a different set of sight words this week, so I hope you are ready to practice. Over. His. No. Once. Think. Give. Some. Any. Him. Going. Again. As. By. Open, live, take, walk, round, of, just, them, think, her, and fly. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about our very good friend, Magic Silent E. So let's remember what Magic Silent E does. Magic Silent E is a letter that we add to words to make the vowels inside the words the long version of the vowel. So let's talk about this word right here. It says lat, l a t. So that's because the a sound normally makes that a eh, a eh sound. But when we think about a long a, that is the a that it sounds in the like in the alphabet. So when we say a b, so a is a long a sound. So by adding this magic silent E, we're going to change it from lat to late. All right. So the first thing we're going to do right now is practice some long A words. So our first long A word is going to be bake. 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 I bake a cake. Okay, here it is. B a k. All right, the next word is save. Save. Save.
Here it is. Save. Okay. After save, we have shape. 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 Okay, so we see we've got that sh, sh with S and H together. Ape. It's got the long A because of magic silent ink. The next word we're going to do is late. Late. Don't be late. Late. Here it is. Late. Okay. After late, we have brave. 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 All right. We've got b er ave. Okay, awesome job. The next thing I want you to do is get ready to write some sentences. So we're going to write three sentences and they're all going to use the long A. All right, number one. I bake a cake in the shape of a snake. I bake a cake in the shape of a snake. I bake a cake in the shape of a snake. Okay. I bake is our first long A silent E word. I bake a cake in the shape, so using that sh to make sh, in the shape of a snake. So that snake uses that sn, sn to make sn, snake. All right. The next word, hold on. <laughs> excuse me. The next word, or excuse me, the next sentence she gave a plate of games. She gave a plate of games. She gave a plate of games. All right. So, she gave a plate of games. So if you look at that word games, we see we have g a, so we know that that e is making it a long a, and then at the end it makes a sound z, but you notice it's not a z, it's an s. Because when we have more than one of something, we add an S. Games. All right. We're going to get a chance to try that same idea in the next sentence. The dog makes waves. The dog makes waves. The dog makes 
waves. Okay. The dog makes waves. This week, we're going to be using 10 frames. You can make your own 10 frame at home in a couple ways. One way you can do that is by using something straight. Let's make two lines. So one way is just to draw it. And then you're going to need 10 boxes. So with our two lines, going to, you can go, okay. So as you can see, mine isn't perfect. That's okay. Another way you can do this is by taking an egg carton and cutting off the last two. So now we have spots for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Today we're going to be learning about making tens. These are the problems we will use. You can write these down now or follow along as we go. I will be doing these problems two different ways, with the egg carton 10 frame and with the 10 frame I drew. We'll start with the egg carton 10 frame. So today we're going to be talking about making tens. Our first question asks, seven plus what equals 10? So we're going to start by filling in our 10 frame with seven stones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we know that if we're gonna have a full 10 frame, every one of these spots need to be filled. How many spots still need to be filled? I see one, two, three. So, seven plus one, two, three will give us 10. Our next problem asks us, five plus what number equals 10? So, we're going to use one, two, three, four, five, and we know that when it's full, it makes 10. So how many spots are missing? One, two, three, four, five. So five plus one, two, three, four, five, makes 10. Then we have four plus what number makes 10? So we're gonna put in one, two, three, four. I'm using stones. If you want to use crumbled up pieces of paper or ping pong balls, Legos, whatever you have, are totally fine. So we've got four in the 10 frame. How many empty spots are there? We're going to add four to however many spots are open to make 10. So we have, pardon me, One, two, three, four, five, six. So four plus one, two, three, four, five, six makes 10. Our next problem asks us one plus what number equals 10? So we have one, in our 10 frame, how many spaces are missing? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine open spaces. So let's fill those in. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One plus nine equals ten. Then we have two plus some number equals ten. So let's count up how many missing spots there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two plus eight equals ten. Let's check our work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And all together we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. Next we have eight plus some number equals ten. So let's start by putting eight objects in our boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, how many are missing? Looks to me like there are one, two open spots. So that means eight plus two equals 10. So if we take these two here and put them here, we'll have a full 10. Then we've got six plus what number equals 10. So the first thing we're going to do is put our six objects in our 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so how many open spots do we have? One, two, three, four. So six plus four equals 10. So we'll go six, seven, eight, whoop, nine, 10. Wonderful. Now we have 9 plus what number equals 10? So we're going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All right, so it looks like we only have one missing. So 10 is one more than 9, so that checks out. So we have nine plus one, fills our 10 frame. Nine plus one is 10. Zero plus what number equals 10? So we don't need to put any in because we're starting with zero and we're gonna count up the open spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So it looks like we have 10 open spots so we're gonna need 10 rocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So zero plus 10 equals 10. The next one asks us 10 plus what number equals 10? So start with 10, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we've got every box filled. So we do we need any more? No. Ten plus zero equals ten. Very good. See you next time.